What's going on guys? I'm Outdoors coming back to another banger video. This video is me taking in all my fur. I'm gonna show you guys what I all got. I think this is a total from two or three years of trapping. I think three. But I'm gonna run through what I all have. It ain't much because I don't really do a whole lot of trapping. I'm gonna go to a fur buyer, my local fur buyer. And I'm gonna let you know what everything's worth. If it is worth it, trapping, I mean, last time, my fur buyer is pretty good about it. So I guess we'll take it in this time. I'll give you guys the final result. I'm gonna show you guys all my fur. First off, we'll start with this. It is a black bear that I shot back in 2018. It actually is a brown bear. You guys probably can't see it very well, but it wasn't very big, 180 pounds, I think. What I do is I just take all these fur and I just wrap them up in plastic wrap, as you can see there. So some of them are pretty froze still. I'm not sure what that is, probably a coon, coon, another coon, coon. That looks like a possum, muskrat, Jesus. Possum, possum, coon. Um, not sure what that is. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. That's a possum. I'm assuming that's a coon, coon, skunk, otter, possum, otter, coon, skunk, coon. Badger, coon, coyote. Um, that looks like a coyote. Rat, possum, coon, possum. Uh, either a possum or a skunk. It looks like he has bald ears, so I'm guessing a possum. Another possum, possum, coon. That's a big coon there. <laughs> coon, coon, rat, 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 rat. Coon, coon, yote, big old fluffy guy. Possum, coon, uh, I'm assuming coon, possum, coon. I do have quite a bit of fur, as you can see. It's all gonna look a lot better tomorrow when it's all thawed out. I can't wait to see what that bear looks like. That thing is gonna be cool. Tomorrow, when they're all dried out, I'll show you guys how they all look. What I normally do is I take a couple big zip ties to zip tie all the species together. So I'll separate them so it makes it easier for the fur buyer. He runs through, checks how prime they are, checks on the fur quality, checks on the inside, makes sure there's no rips, tears. All that I do is I skin them out. I don't dry them. I don't do any of that stuff. It's too much time that I don't have. He checks them all, writes me a check, sends me a receipt, and that's about how it all goes. We'll see you guys tomorrow once they're all dried out. I just got done unwrapping all these damn fur. Holy hell do I got a lot more than I thought. There's a lot of possum. I know there's a few fur in here that probably ain't no good anymore but I'll take it to the fur buyer and if you want some, you can have them. If you don't, you can dump them. We'll start with up in front. Five coon, one, two, three, four, five. Those are some big freaking coon. I mean, just look at the size comparison. These are two big boys. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, those are big coon, but there's five. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen coon. All right there. My rats. Three, six, seven, eight. Eight rats. Then that beaver. That probably ain't gonna be no good, but we'll see. Three skunk. The badger. Big boy badger. Then we're coming back this way to the possum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen possum. They ain't worth very much, but they eat a lot of pheasant eggs, cause a lot of damage. These are the things to get out of here, and the skunks. If you want good pheasant hunting, <clears throat> possum and skunks eat a lot of pheasant eggs. And over there, we got two otters. Super weird. Look at the color difference on them. 
One's a lot bigger than the other. Two yotes. Little guy and a big guy. And then granddaddy, the brown bear. As I was saying last night, as you could tell, it's kind of like a brown chocolate color. It's not really a black. I mean, look at the claws on that guy. He was made to kill. Pretty cool though. First bear I ever shot. I did want something special out of it, like a rug or something. Called the taxidermist, he wanted I think 150 per foot, and this is an eight foot bear, so <laughs> over a grand to make a rug, I'm all right. I'll take it to the fur buyer and get some money for it. This video is really gonna just be about is it worth trapping or not for all the people that watch. I mean, I don't have anything else better to do during the fall when it gets, well, when duck hunting gets around and then that ends and then there's not a whole lot going on, so I go trapping, and that's what I end up with. I don't do anything special like dry them or tan them or anything like that, stretch them. I just skin them out and throw them in the freezer. I'm not expecting a whole lot or getting a whole lot for them. I mean, I hope I do, but we'll see how this goes. So, like, uh, once they unthaw a little bit, I'll take their eyes or through their nose, and I'll run a zip tie right through there. And just run them all up as much as I can get without stretching them or pulling out the eyes. And I'll do that with every single set of something. Like the beaver and the badger I'll probably put together, the otters together, the coyotes together, the bear I'll probably just throw in my truck because things heavy enough the way it is. All the possums I'll put together and then I'll tie the zip tie shut and just carry them like that. and throw them right on the floor and then he checks them out. He checks to see if they're prime or not. We'll see what we get. I'm gonna run to the fur shop quick and then we'll get right back with you guys. I just got back from my fur buyer. We talked a little bit and he went to an auction this last weekend. He brought in a bunch of fur, mink, possum, raccoon. He brought just about every fur he had and he brought some buffalo hides in and the buffalo hides, he said, were going up like wildfire. Everyone was buying them, and the possum and all that stuff, raccoon and coyotes and all that stuff, would hardly ever sell. He's, he's one of my only fur buyers that are buying in our area anymore. And I talked to him a little bit, and he said he's about ready to call it quits. You don't get a whole lot for hides anymore. I know his shop burned down a couple years ago, and he needed he was in high demand for just about everything and that's why i had gotten so much money for what i did a couple years ago but it is nothing like that now as you can see black bear i got 45 dollars for my hide muskrat 250 possum a dollar my large badger was 15 skunks were five dollars a piece which were 30 back two years ago one of my coyotes i got 20 bucks for it each coon went for 250. 250. That ain't even worth it. And my other coyote I got five dollars for it for a total of 141.50. I don't know about you guys, but that feels like highway robbery. And it ain't my fur buyer's fault. It ain't I will not blame it on him one bit because he's just doing his job, trying to make a living out of it. I really do appreciate him buying my hide still. He threw a couple bucks in just for pity for uh, just for me bringing them in or whatever. Cause he likes seeing kids do it. it. Just seems like a waste of time, but I like doing it. Or kind of showing you guys if it's worth trapping or not. In my opinion, <laughs> I don't think it is. It's not worth it's not worth the money trapping, I'll say that. If it's something you like to do, it's worth the passion. Which that's about all I'm doing it for. I like trapping. It's fun keeps me out of trouble if this video helped you in any way new trappers smash that like button hit the subscribe button click that little bell so you know the next time i'll be posting leave a comment down below if you guys think these are fair prices or if you think the fur market's just going to hell i just don't get it start buying fur people otherwise i ain't got much more for you guys you guys know the drill don't forget to stab people and see you on the next one we out